We're back. We're back. It's Joy and Kat. Do we need to... <laughs> Not awkward at all. Do we need yeah. to do like a little recap? Like I'm Joy. Um, I've been an integrative holistic health coach for over a decade. I'm a mama of three. I spent five years working in Dr. Kat's practice. Dr. Kat is a board certified pediatric and prenatal chiropractor uh, with a specialty in brain based nervous system chiropractic and uh, functional medicine. Yep. And a mom of two. And a wife. And a All the things. Okay. Uh, chop, 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 ladies. Um, <laughs> let's talk today about what does it cost you when you are taking supplements to treat symptoms? Mm. I know you have a lot to say about that. I do. I do. Do you, do you think, okay. So one of the things that I could think like it's expensive and high I've done it. And I know so many people that are doing it. I think it's really common practice. Um, but fair to say it's not actually addressing the root cause. In addition to like what we talked about yesterday, it can be really hard on the body to process all of that. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and I'm guilty too. I have a nice big supplement graveyard. <laughs> we, I think we all do that. And you said that it's the human condition. Like it's, it's normal to want to fix a problem, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So let's just use an example. I know so many people, um, uh, my husband's as one of them who has sleep issues and tries to treat the problem by taking melatonin. Okay. Um, what would you say about that? Okay. Well, you know, not being his doctor there there could be myriad reasons why sure. melatonin was chosen but melatonin it does have some positive things so I, I don't want it to seem like you know it's bad but um it is an end product like it's the last thing um that is created in a whole biochemical process that helps induce sleep and that may not be the actual issue the actual issue might be like a B vitamin or serotonin or something a little bit upstream like tryptophan. And, um, you just being sh just shy of a biochemist, it's hard to figure out exactly what's wrong unless you really know that type of biochemistry. Um, the other thing is, um, so it can be like, like throwing spaghetti at a wall a little bit to, to take melatonin and, and melatonin might help you get to sleep, but doesn't necessarily help you stay asleep because it's not a root cause. It's not, it's not a root cause. And even taking these other things are not a root cause. Like why is the sleep disrupted? So you gave a really good analogy when we were preparing for this, that I think would be helpful to share. You were talking about rat poison and that if somebody has a rat problem, and, and I would probably do this, like you put rat poison out to mm -hmm. kill the rats. Mm -hmm. But you said, but you got to find the source. Yeah, you Go ahead. Find the source. Like the, I, I would absolutely also <laughs> try to kill the rats, but killing the rats doesn't fix the rat problem, right? It is sourced somewhere else or like mold in your house, just cleaning the mold that you see or putting an air filter out. It doesn't fix the problem. You actually have to find the source or sources. Right. And right. so in the, in the case of sleep, it could be myriad things. And in the case of mold, it could be myriad things. Um, and rats, it's probably a trash pile somewhere. <laughs> so, okay. So someone can take melatonin, right? Like mm -hmm. we're not going to say yes or no, it's going to hurt them, but it's not solving the root cause issue. So Correct. a couple things, it could be, you said technology too late in the day. Mm -hmm. I will say I can't watch Grey's Anatomy. My daughter likes to watch Grey's Anatomy and we often watch a show right before bed, but I can't watch Grey's Anatomy right before I go to bed. It gives me wicked anxiety. Really? That's fascinating. Yeah. I mean, so one of the first issues is that we're all like so into the, bl the blue light of our technology and we're not getting our eyes to have direct sunlight on them earlier in the day. And that's what helps produce our melatonin. So if we're like all desk jockeys or we're all on our phones, that that can be a, a cause. And then you just get depleted. And that makes sense that you would have anxiety because your body doesn't have the capacity to then produce the hormone melatonin to get to sleep. So something if someone has sleep issues, it's getting early morning sun. Mm -hmm. and, okay. and, and blocking blue light 
uh, in the evening. Yep. Um, you were also saying that exercising too late in the day can be a cause. Yeah. Case in point, my children yesterday decided to do their workout in the evening and uh, they couldn't fall asleep before 11 o'clock. Yep. Um, I know for me that I used to have our Wi-Fi router in the bedroom and I had horrid insomnia. I would be so tired and could not fall asleep. And everyone told me to move it. And I was like, I would just roll my eyes. I was like, no, that can't, that can't that's be That's so it. stupid. That, that was it. That yep. was it. We actually turn our Wi-Fi router off at night. I just unplug it now. Me too. Um, you were also saying that um, lack or like depleted B vitamins due to insufficient nutrition. So here's a question. Like, would the solution be take B vitamins then? It could be. It could, okay. uh, it could be a... Uh, a better solution, right? Like um, the precursors and the cofactors of the downstream thing absolutely are usually better because then you're more, you're closer to the root, but you're not still addressing why is somebody depleted in B vitamins? And 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 here's just a newsflash for you. You actually do actually have to eat good food. You, you know, you can't like outrun your fork. You, you so, okay. I'm sorry. We're Bad diet. You just can't out supplement a bad diet. Off topic. Cause now I'm like, but what, what, why? Okay. So is someone depleted in B vitamins because of poor nutrition or could it be another reason? Uh, sure. It could be, it could be an exposure. It could be, it could be any of the things that we've already mentioned when you tip the scales, like toxicity usually creates deficiency of sorts, but like there are certain things our body makes and certain things our body doesn't make. And you know, we have to consume our B vitamins. Oh my God. I love talking to you. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope this was helpful. You guys. Back for more. Bye. Bye. <laughs>